Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot Card. These are your Daily Tarot Cards for Thursday, April 21st, 2022, Throne Thursday. Today we're pulling from the Game of Throne Tarot Cards. I feel like we're missing a message here on opportunity, Spirit is saying, specifically. But I feel like we're, I feel like it's like they're trying to tell you something and you're just, no bueno, you're not hearing it. So are you getting enough sleep? Um, they're saying intoxicated. So are you drinking too much? Are you sitting there and blocking those messages from coming through forward because you're drinking too much or involved in being... Remember I was saying that yesterday I felt like a fog? So maybe you're you're abusing something. You know, we were talking about that yesterday. Drugs, alcohol, whatever it is to like kind of fog our brain. And it's like we're actually hindering, you know, messages from coming forward. So solitude, spirituality, truth, reflection, wisdom, self-healing, journey. And I've definitely been getting a lot of self-healing. I definitely feel like this is your higher self saying, hey, you have the power within yourself to heal yourself. So, you know what I mean? This is given by creator, uh, God, Gaia, universe, you know, um, whomever you believe in, whatever name they go by. Um, and this is them like, come on, wake up here. Stands for oneness. Intensity, realization. So in the reverse position, I, this is a major message that's trying to come through. And I feel like in the reverse position, they're saying you're missing the light. You're missing the information. You know, you need to sit there and stop whatever you're doing, whatever is blocking this from coming in. So this could be, you know, like in my situation, overworking, workaholic, you know what I mean? Where it was March 2nd, I've been going. And it's just like, you know, where the universe was like, well, Passover's coming up. You have no choice but to freaking rest. You have no choice right now. Shabbat and Passover. It's like you got to sit your butt down. You got to do the ceremonies and everything else. And you can't do anything else. You got to sit your butt down and wusau. You got to sit there and ground yourself. You know, a lot of people do the same thing. Good Friday, Easter Monday. It's like they go to church. They do, you know, the, the services and, and their celebrations. And it's like you have no choice but to sit there and ground yourself. That is a form of grounding yourself. By sitting there being with the people that you love. You're recharging your battery. So the reverse can reveal isolation. A time of solitude as an unwelcoming or unexpected. For me, isolation is not bad for me because it, it, I, it's a time for meditation. I sit there and I put myself first. You know, I take care of the little minor details, you know, within, you know, the, the what is allowed during that time. So I just sit there and I give myself a nice facial. I sit there and maybe I do my hair. I sit there and I do my toenails. You know, I sit there and put that self-care into myself because I, that that's what I love about Shabbat. It's like you could sit there and put that care back into yourself. Everyone knows when you get your hair done, your nails done, whatever it is. It's not because what it represents. You just feel good about yourself. Like they said, it's like taking a nice shower. You always feel different after you have a shower. You sit there, it's like, you know, you go in, maybe you're tired, now you're awake, you know, you feel refreshed. What a great way to start off the day. You know what I mean? They're showing like early in the morning and you're tired. Support is still available to you. Welcome the opportunity to reflect and approach those who could help you to move forward. So maybe you feel isolated in a way where it's like, you know, you need help and it's like, you know, ask for help. This is your, this is your sign is to ask for help. A lot of the time we suffer in silence. Seven of swords in the reverse, you know, so we were talking about how we deceive ourselves. This, you know, this self-talk of, you know, when, like I said, we hear these certain things from certain people and we start to believe that narrative. Maybe you've heard it your whole life and it's like you believe that narrative. And it's like, that's why I say it's like, you're, don't miss those messages. You know, that's why I watch tribal trails. That's why I watch masks for shut-ins because it's not about who's delivering the message so much. It's about the words, the words that are spoken, you know, and when they touch my heart in the way that they do, it's like I was meant to hear those words. Dishonesty, theft, transgression, mistrust. So if you are able to think smart, quote unquote, it is still possible to get one step ahead of an aggressor rather than to fall into victimhood. I have someone that's trying to mess with me. And I just sit there, it's like, you know, when this happened before, they were being arrogant, you know, the universe dealt with it. I don't celebrate it, you know what I mean? But it's just like the universe put them in their place. The two is untouched, showing that you have resources. 
you may need to resort to uh, deviousness to defend your position. I'm not going to sit there. I let go and let God. I'm not going to sit there and, and give in to that, to, to the antics. Then it's going to be tit for tat going back and forth. No, -uh. nope. Let go and let God. So the magician, that's why I feel like the universe is saying you have the experience. We also have pre-Mercury uh, uh, Mercury retrograde energies here. So that's when our shadow side comes out. It's like, yeah, do this, do that, do that. And it's like, take a step back and breathe. Just like when you sit there and you sit and you put your opinion out on social media. And it's like, I wish I would have taken a beat before I put that out there. It's like, no, especially with the redness. And I feel like, you know, misinformation. I don't feel like the information you're giving yourself, like, you know, if you're doing something that goes against your belief system, your core values, no, no. Take a step back. Success, willpower, messages, manifesting, inspiration, diplomacy. Action, ideas, energy is about. It's time for inventiveness, expansive thinking, and new direction. So this card comes up to show new work, relationships, business startups, and other successful venture, creative ventures. And that's what I mean. You know, some people, I don't know what it is. It's like you, you sit there, you're in your own bubble, you're doing your thing, you're working hard and that irks people. And it's like, why? Like, why don't you go ahead and put that same kind of effort instead of sitting there bothering with me, put that effort into your own ventures. You know, don't worry what I'm doing. I'm on my own path. I'm doing my own thing. Worry about yourself. At the spiritual level, you're connected with a higher self. And I definitely feel that, especially ending on the star card. During this transition or whatever this period is, your higher self is speaking to you. Your guardian angels are here to protect you. They're here bringing the light in this situation. You know, when they talk about solitude, that darkness, it's like we're here. If you're waiting for news, this card tells that you will soon have the information you need. Signif signifies journey moving home. So we have the sun card and I, this, I feel like this is where it's like, you know, especially, you know, where we are in Canada, it's just like, you know, we're getting, you know, our side is like perpetual winter. So it's just like the snow is melting like beautifully, you know, I'm grateful the floods were, you know, the, the waters didn't flood, you know, it was just like a, a perfect situation, but it's like, you know, it's still that the, you know, just still pre, it's kind of like with Toronto, Toronto's probably way past us, the area of flowers blooming, but it's like, we're still in those, you know, early March phases of, of ours is always delayed, but that excitement to get out there. So optimism, success, achievement, growth, happiness, well-being, vacations, family. So reduces to 10, the number of fulfillment and completion. And I feel like, like they were saying, success is going to be yours. Like the flowers that surround in this card, the sunflowers, success is yours to be had. I feel like because this is what you wanted. This is what you put your energy into. We we're talking about this yesterday. Determination, dedication. You strive towards this. The sun is one of the most positive cards in the tarot. Signify happiness, well-being, opportunities to bask in your own achievements and this is not saying i'm better than anyone else. it's patting yourself on the back for all the sacrifices you made to get to this point that's all it is not better than anyone else not trying to be better than anyone else you're just sitting there saying i you know i gave up birthday parties i gave up sleep i gave x, x y and z up so i could get to this point and that's all that should matter it, all these other people and their feelings it's like well then put that much effort into your own life don't worry about what i'm doing The card often arises to show well-deserved vacation, overall reaching a point in which you can ease up and share precious time with those close to you. This card also favors time with children, nurturing new projects, conditions that lead to financial success, relationship growth. And I definitely feel like that, you know, especially, you know, when I'm like, you know, myself, it's like when the, when things start to pile up you know, with readings and it's just like, there's a wait list and everything. It's like, it's a huge blessing, but it's like, I don't like anyone waiting. I feel horrible when people have to wait for me. That's why I was saying with the uh, Instagram, it's like, you know what? I understand if you can't wait and you got to move on and it's like, you know, it's t it taking too long. That's fine. I understand that, but I'm working as best as I can. Any person that comes across me, they're going to get a hundred billion, 10% of me, you know, they're just as important as anyone else. So they're the person that's, you know, in front of me, they get 110%. You know, I can't predict how long their reading is going to be. I can't predict anything. All I can sit there and, and is give them 110% of myself. When I feel like they're complete, then it's like, okay, the reading is done. But I also need time to woo sell as well. 
you know, I also have a life outside of this as well. I got two kids that depend on me. So it's just like you got to find that healthy balance. And unfortunately, sometimes people don't understand that. And that's fine. I'm just one person. I do all my filming. I do all my editing. I do everything. All my posting. Everything. So it's just like, you know, some people need to understand that. Feeling overwhelmed. Work, burdens, guilt, married him. The reverse position, the burdens are more imagined than real. You're in danger of becoming a, an, um, a martyr. You're giving away your time, energy way too easily. And this is where I feel like, you know, for me, it's like, you know, it was like, for, especially for myself, it's like since the end of January, this has been going on. But, you know, it really, you know, picked up in intensity March 2nd. And it's just like, you know, I haven't been able to catch a breath or catch a beat. The only reason I had rest and rejuvenation this weekend was because of Passover. Like, if I'm going to be 100% honest here, you know what I mean? And that's because we're told we cannot work. That's time to put, sit there and put that into our spiritual health. You know, we have six days in the week, you know, to do everything that we need to do. That day is theirs. So I feel like with this Nine of Cups... I feel like this is self-love. I feel like you're showing up for yourself. I feel like this is spirit showing up for you. I feel like this is you filling your own cup. And it's like, you know what? Don't feel guilty. And I'm not going to be made to feel guilty for filling my own cup. I'm not going to be made feel guilty for, you know, uh, doing our spiritual practices. Because you know what? I'm a vessel. And that's part of that. That spiritual well-being, that spiritual soul food is what I need to be who I am. So, you know, like I said... Maybe some people understand. Maybe some people won't. So promises, ideals, invitations, romantic, idealistic, the night may enchant you. you so this card shows the uh, possibility of new love. The night, the night loves being the lover equally. You may project onto him or her the dreamy qualities you ideally want. Wait before you commit. Apply to a situation, the proposal or invitation for you. But assess carefully what is an offer. I feel like a verbal proposal. I don't. I like. I. I know that they're talking about here, like a um, uh, a marriage. I feel like someone's gonna propose something to you. Like I think you should do this. You know. I feel like they're gonna sit there and offer you something in that way. I. I like a verbal proposal. Or something. I. I don't feel like this is. Uh, I feel like this is a verbal commitment, or like this is a verbal offer for a commitment. And, you know, this could be like at the job, you know, maybe your manager is aware of something that's coming up that you're not aware of yet, or it hasn't been made public yet, but they know it's coming down the pipeline. And they're just like, hey, just a heads up, this is coming up. And I think you should go for it. You know, I think you should throw your hat in the ring because you don't know how management sees you. So the 10 of swords, you know, funny enough, they were showing us the six of swords yesterday. We had a lot of swords and pentacles and it's like, even though this is going on, it's like, you know, ground yourself in this energy or ground yourself right now. We have four planets in water. So that's a lot of emotion. If you're an emotional creature like myself, you know, it's just like, you know, you get it. Like I had a certain situation, you know, Easter always reminds me of a certain situation. And it's just like, you know, I felt it more intensely this year. And I was just like, I know there's four planets in water. That's how I'm going to ground myself. Everything is okay. Everything is all right. Just move forward and keep on. That's all you can do. The reverse position, the meaning of the upright stance, the ending of procrastinated, procrastinating. There may be more anxiety, regret, or conflict to get through before you are able to let go. This could be because of pre-Mercury retrograde energies. I definitely felt like when Aries and Virgo were in the sky and it was like in, in, in they're like the shadow side of it though. Virgo likes to get things done. So we make a list and they're saying, you know, Deborah Silverman, God bless her. I love her. She uh, posts for astrology answers and she was talking about this. She was just like, we put these like, you know, the pressure, you know, I want to be, you know, be the greatest hostess, you know, when it comes to, um, to dinner, you know, when, when, if you were hosting, um, Easter dinner, you know, I want the house to look like this. I want, you know, dinner to look like this. I want to, you know what I mean? Remember we we're talking about that last week where it's like, like an Italian feast. It was like three lasagnas and antipasts and this, 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 the ham. There's, you know what I mean? It's just like food, 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 food. And it's just like that pressure the host puts on themselves because it's just like, do, is there enough food? I was like, are you crazy? It's like, you know, they were talking about that last week. Get this one in charge of desserts. This one's in charge of that. So you don't feel that sort of pressure. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's where spirit was just like, take a breath. And that's where that Virgo and the negative side comes in. Whereas myself, it's just like, yeah, 
got to kind of fold this laundry and put it away. I got to sit there and boys haircuts, this, 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 this. But it's just like, you know what? I'll handle it as it comes. When I'm able to do it, especially with Passover, you weren't allowed to do those things. You know what I mean? Like fold the laundry and whatnot. It's like, well, you know what? Today, Monday, it's like, you know, time to get it done. So the star. Hopes, wishes, healing, creative inspiration, guidance. I feel like this is where, you know, we're calling in our guardian angels to protect us in this time. We're calling back in the light, just like the sun. You know, we're sitting there and we're bringing that light back into our life. We're calling upon our guardian angels, or maybe ourself. That's why I feel like, you know, this nine of cups is just like, you know what? You know, I was, I always sat there and I would make myself feel guilty. You know, what, why are you resting? You know, when things would get quiet, you know, I go through these, these uh, cycles and it's like everything, it, things are quiet and it's just like, oh, mm, you know, I should be doing something more. You know what I mean? I should be, I, I don't appreciate that downtime. So now I'm learning to appreciate that downtime. And I, I feel like that's what that 10 of spears is saying. Now that they've all fallen and you, you can, con, you know, spend that more time with children, reconnect with them. You know what I mean? Get those things going again. So, uh, 18 adds up to eight, the number of change and renewal, sorry, 17. The star asks you to keep the faith because opportunity and rewards will come. Follow your new direction and work projects, relationships. So remember they were talking about something was going to come in. So here we go. A new direction. You discover your life purpose for some. This is the ability to heal others or yourself. And I feel like this is what that, you know, we were talking about with this 10 of spears sitting there and letting the, the wands fall down and taking a break. It's like sitting there and you're carrying these wands uphill in a hot, sunny day. And it, it's, you know, it's finally the end of the work day. You're sweaty, you're beat. You're, you just want to lay down and have a nice cool shower. And I feel like it's like, give yourself permission to do that. And I feel like that's where this comes in. You're a workhorse and you always want to be cracking that whip on your back. And it's like, you know what? You don't have to. Don't let anyone make you feel that way. See, freaking uh, Blue Jays keep coming. You may have come through a period of transition or sense of unfolding of new creative possibilities. Relationships are harmonious. And if you're looking for love, you are now ready to be with your soulmate. So I feel like, especially with the Ten of Swords coming before that, this healing is taking place. You know, the swords are beginning to fall out. The healing is, you know, where we talk about forgiveness and moving forward, you know, especially with the Six of Swords. And it's like that healing has taken place, but you you know, you're forgiving the situation, but you're not forgetting. But like, you know, we talked about this before. We cannot punish people for, for previous situations, previous relationships. Recognition, luck, and money with the star card. And I definitely feel like this is where your guardian angels are like, Hey, you know, we realize you just came through a period. Now is the time to lose out. Now is the time to regroup and don't feel guilty. Now is the time to kick up your feet and relax. Cause you work, 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 you know? And I feel like better uh, opportunities, better things are coming in where it's like, you're going to be able to sit there and enjoy more of that leisure time that, you know, you should, you so deserve, you know, putting your feet up, relaxing, woo sowing, you know, sitting there and just, you know, enjoying nature, you know, enjoying the things that you love. And it's just like, you know, that time is coming in. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Thursday, April 21st, 2022. May the universe bless you good. We'll see you for the next daily tarot card. Bye.